going to affect even your things. Even, do you know why the shadow of the apostles can heal the sick? Because of the glory of the Lord in their spirit manifesting through the body. In these last days, as you walk, as we walk in the glory of the Lord, and we increase in the glory of the Lord with our presence, we are, we are just coming into a room where there is a demon possessed, even without need of rebuking, the demon may already live because they already sense the glory of the Lord. We have not yet gone to a person to be prayed for. She is already healed because of the glory of the Lord. Oh. We have not yet finished praying for intervention for somebody who is in danger. It's already answered because of the glory of the Lord. Teleportation, Philip, healing, supernatural protections of prophets. There are physical manifestations. There are also spiritual manifestations. The power of your testimony is a revelation of glory of the Lord. Supernatural knowledge, wisdom, understanding is a sign of the glory of the Lord. Powerful answers to prayer. Experiences with the spirit realm. Powerful messages that bring about conviction. Attraction of the lost to Christ. Signs, wonders, miracles. Cooperation, working, conversation with angels. These are the manifestations of the glory of the Lord. At the end of the day, it is not the gifts or anointing that really matter. It is the heart that is perfect towards God. It is being conformed to the image of His Son. It is being like Jesus. It is being made perfect in Him. That is the glory of the last days. So there is no magic trick here. No formula how to do ministry. No hidden secret. If you do this, if you do that, then you will be glorious. No. Be like Jesus. Go for sanctification. Go for purity. Go for holiness. Align your heart towards Him. Aim for perfection. Quote, unquote. For perfection. Then we will walk with the glory. Just like Jesus, this is my beloved son, daughter, in whom I am well pleased. Baptized into obedience, transformed into glory. This is walking with Jesus in the last days. In closing, I just hope and pray that we will join the spirit of revelation that was, that was released in uh, the national prayer gathering. It is a time to call for Christians to be holy and righteous, to walk with the Lord. Let's go for being right with the Lord. We have celebrated the Passover solemn assembly. Let the day of vengeance come. Let the year of redemption come. Let the severity come. Let the goodness come. Let the time and chance come. We have just one main agenda. Let's just be more like Jesus. Let's just follow Him. Let's just walk in His glory. Everything will take care of itself.